Hello my wisdom lights, thank you for tuning in for another review video. I will be reviewing the Orisha Tarot. Okay, this is a big box. <laughs> it comes with a big box. Um, This is an amazing deck. I love this deck, okay? Um, this is by Andrew McGregor. By Andrew McGregor, okay? This is what the box looks like. Comes with a flap. Okay, very big and a lot of green, a lot of green and yellow, a light green, green is very uh, hard based, okay, look at Shango X in the back, so like I said, this is, this is, this is a good deck, I like this deck. Um, okay, so this is the cards, this is the book, the guidebook that comes with it, this is the cards, the back of it, I don't like the cards, the cards are thin, I just gotta be up front, I gotta be blunt with it, the cards, stock is very thin, very thin, very thin, then it's laminated, very easy, look at that, very very thin very thin that's the, i'm so disappointed with the card stock that's why i don't reuse these that much um but the plus side it comes with an amazing book the book is bigger than my hand um very thick the imagery uh the breakdown the backstory of each card is very good very good so it's like they put more time in the book instead of the deck Okay, they put more time into the book instead of the deck. Now, don't get me wrong, but they spent more money on the doggone book than the deck because you could have, if they would have had a better card stock or even if the card stock was like a matte finish, oh my God. Because this, the, I love this size. I love this size, but it's like, it's just so thin and this lamination is just, just throwing everything off. I mean, it was really going somewhere with this, um, with this um with this deck it was going somewhere but it's like by it being laminated like this the two the two the two priestess two priestess card number two and then what this is this is the empress the goddess card and this is the emperor you know like, this is, like, I love the way they did it or whatever, but it's just like, oh, they should just put, should have spent more money on the car stock than the doggone book. It would have been, like, a real, real big hit. This is the Lovers. Now, why this, okay, I think that's Oshun, but they should have had two people, you know. That's what I be seeing, like, with certain cards, interpretation, like, this he drew off of the traditional deck, which is amazing. I love it. But it's like <clears throat> he changed so much of it. I understand he was trying to represent, you know, the Aoife, the Orishas, the Sanctity of Energy. But it's like it could have been just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to show you the guidebook again. Like the guidebook. See the magician? The first card I just showed you. Like you, you got a page of a big old picture. Like the dog on the page look better than dog on card. You see what I'm saying? Like people just, it's like sometimes what people mind be at when they be making their stuff. Like you could have put all this in a smaller book and put uh, the money you put in, took the money off this book and, and put it into the card stock. Like come on, player. Like oh my god. I mean beautiful cards. I love the size of the cards. I love. I can get through the imagery. Um, it's just oh, why well, stop there, y'all? I'm just so discombobulated with this dick. Like I said, I don't even use this dick. I might give this dick to somebody that uh, one of my students or something. Like, oh, this is the chariot. And like I said, y'all don't show too many cards. You should know by now if you're gonna get the deck or not this is the justice card
card. This is the Hermit card. Okay. This is the Fortune card. Okay, this is the Shrimp. Wait, is this Fortune? Yep. Shrimp card. This is the hanged man. Hangman. This is the death card. This is the death card. Okay, this is the temperance card. Okay. This is the devil card. Okay. And like I said, I can get through the imagery. I can get past it. But it just, oh, it just would have been so better if this card had like a matte finish. The car stock was thicker. Oh, it would have been amazing. This is, oh, the tower. The tower card. And see if you know the traditional tower card is lightning. This look like the sun rays. So, it might have a connection with the Shango energy. I don't know how to read the book. But, um, yeah. This is the star card. Okay, I don't see nobody naked. Where's the vulnerability? Oh, Jesus. I guess it represents the water. But you need something about somebody naked in the star card. You could have made it a male, you could have made it a female, something. Oh, uh, the moon. And then we got the sun. The sun card. And then we got judgment. And then we got, what is this, the world. And I love how, that's one thing I love about this deck. It's like the way he put the words of the card in different parts of, like, the cards. Like, you know, usually be like right here or right there. He got it like all over the cards. That's the, I can say, I, 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 like, the, I like the deck overall. But it's just... Oh, just a lot of misses. This is the ace. What's this? Judgment. Where's the world? Oh, okay. Okay. And then this is Om, oh, oh, but telling me ace of wands. Ace of wands. Very interesting deck. Two of wands. Because I got the deck because it's a on the front, the Orisha Tarot, you know, the connection with the Orishas and all. But it's just like he put more money in the book in the box than the doggone cards. And if he would put more money in the cards, it would have been an overall standout deck. But the cards look so cheap. So, so cheap. So cheap. And not saying it's all about like money or whatever, but it's just like. The cards should last longer than the book. You see what I'm saying? Like, the book seemed like it would... <laughs> it's better to have the book than the dog on call. I, I don't know. It's just... Oh, I just wish he would have did the cards a little bit more justice. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the description box below. Uh, I'm not even going to pull no card. I'm going to just... Let's see. We can stop on... What this is. The Ten of Wands. Well, let me do a card I show. Let me do the card I show. Okay, the High Priestess card. The Priestess. This is the card. This is the card. And let me see what the Priestess card says. The Priestess card, the Priestess card is one of knowledge about the mysteries of creation. It is the loving oracle itself behind the tools we use. Living with one 
one half in the spirit world and the other half in the material world this card provides the possibility of wisdom it is the vehicle of all the psychic phenomena humans might access Ooh, excuse me oh do is a word we use to talk about the signs we divine with using uh Kari's and an Ifa. As a sign we read, each Odu is also an Orisha unto themselves, as we see in the two of this. Finally, Odu is the energy of creation unfolding as new things emerge in creation. They become part of Odu. This is the deep power behind divining with the Orisha traditions. It is not just the not just that the internet might get included in a sign as part of its meaning, but that the internet arose out of the energy of the sign which it belongs to. When we cast divination for someone, we are calling Odu, which changes the course of that person's life. It is an act of magic. Just doing the reading. The interpretation and advice that follow are there to help the person consciously align with what is going on. So when we cast coconut shells and a certain sign falls, we ask, did this come to clear the way? If the answer is yes, we move on because the arrival of the energy through divination has fixed the problem and we do not need to analyze that part further. When divining, we end with the question, is everything Ibu Ada? Though some people might say it means is everything good, it actually means has everything that needs to be said been said. Highlighting that the divining is over and that come and what comes next is what we apply to apply the advice to. The the guarantee is not that everything will be just fine, but that everything that we we can be known or done has been addressed and we must now apply it to navigate what is in front of us. Symbolism. 16 Kairis used for divination. A starry expense peeking through that mat as the unfolding of a do in creation. Chalk in a stone for making yes or no to answers in the reading. A chalk boundary for the limit of this process. Divining. Life is always evolving. If we listen, we learn to speak its language and understand what is being said to us. This kind of wisdom takes patience and years to develop. It is not intention. It is not intuition or feel but a deep blending of knowledge, intuition, and inspiration, ashe, and our own wisdom that allow us to overcome the problems of life and accept what is beyond change. Deep wisdom from the universe. Applied knowledge bring the best outcome. Circumstances are evolving as a combination of your actions and force in the world. Control is an illusion, but effort and attention will win every time solution meditate on the nature of the universe um contemplate everything as spirit unfolding be practical and deal with things on the level which they exist on only god is perfect study so they gave good um breakdown like i say the page is huge this could have been in like the little small book the little small books and all the other decks like i'm just oh, i'm just so disappointed in the deck i am so disappointed in the deck <sighs> again y'all tell me what y'all think in the, uh, the comment section below um yeah and stay tuned for my other review of videos be blessed